I gave you the answer last night in the discussion, and I didn't realize it until about uh, uh, two hours, two and a half hours after the call. I said that basically, if after we submit this in, if the judges do not uh, respond within three days, then basically they have abandoned uh, the master, the vessel master, bar master position on the vessel. Mm -hmm. Well, I was, and then we would turn around and go to the Federal Maritime Commission, and we as the chief slash master's mate would assume the master's position. Well, basically going back through everything, the judges have abandoned this position when we turn 21. They fully abandoned it at the age of 25. From, from birth to 21 years of age, you were in an apprenticeship. So you were the master's mate in apprenticeship. Mm-hmm. to the vessel master, okay? Then from 18 or from 21 to uh, 25 years of age, that is the journeyman ship. And I addressed that probably well over a year ago. The apprenticeship, the journey ship, and then the master ship. You become a full-fledged master at the age of 25. You had the right of journeyman over the vessel from from 21 to uh, 25. You didn't know that you had that capability. And all we have to do, and basically... We've had judges tell us, you can do this yourself. Bankruptcy judges out of South Carolina. We've had other judges tell us different things that we just didn't quite understand. The last tidbit that I got was from my, uh, when I sent seven IRS bills into the chief judge and I called up the chief judge's office to find out what the status of them was. And the clerk or whoever uh, in the judge's office there said those have been put or transmitted down to the U.S. Marshals. Well, the U.S. Marshals are basically have two categories. They are either a bailey or a bailiff. Most of the time, you'll see them in their bailiff capacity, okay, in court and everything else. You don't see them in their bailey capacity. That's where my IRS bills went to, was to the bailey department of the United States Marshals. The master of the vessel has been vacated ever since we turned 25, fully vacated. Okay? Now, we're the chief slash master's mate. We've done our apprenticeship for master. We've done our journeymanship for master. We're now fully qualified to be the master. So all we have to do is come in, and uh, and that is a title of office, master of the vessel. So we count, that's the office found that everybody's been looking for. It's our title of office, master of the vessels. Now, as the master of the vessels, we have control over the vessel 
the bailey of the vessel, the first mate, which is the state corporation person out here, all of their uh, minions that are, and all the numbered sea, seamen or merchant marine men that have been created under false pretenses, under numbers. Like I said last night, this all, you'll find everything about this whole thing in the book Moby Dick. The book Moby Dick was written in 1851. It was a forewarning that basically these foreign powers were going to come in and set up a whaling vessel, a commercial whaling vessel, for the white Americans. They already had the Indians on the reservations. Most of the black men and everything were all uh, controlled out here. And the Chinese and everything else on the East Coast, they weren't a big threat at that point in time. So the only threat that basically these uh, powers to be had was the white Americans. And that is Moby Dick, the white whale. Now, after the Emancipation Approximation by uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln freeing all the slaves and everything, and then turning around and giving uh, entitlements to those guys that served in the service, land and everything else, then you fast forward to the movie uh, Wizard of Oz. Then you have, in the Wizard of Oz, they talk about the horse of different colors. At that point in time, all, it wasn't just the white whale that they were going after. They were going after the black whale, the pink whale, the po polka dotted whale, the yellow whale, whatever. Because a whale is a mammal that is of the sea. And you are a mammal of the sea of commerce. And they put you into the dead sea of commerce out here. And it's, it's commercial commerce. That's the sea of the dead. And then all these codes and everything else. Since they are dealing with the Dead Sea, well, hell, they must be the Dead Sea Scrolls. You've never read half the Dead Sea Scrolls, but basically that's what some of these laws and everything all pertain to. The history. Why do these guys... Why did they go after Saddam Hussein? Why did they go after Baghdad? Because they had to get, take control of the uh, museum over there in Baghdad because there was 50 pristine Sumerian tablets that they had unearthed. And they were deciphering them, and basically it would have told this whole damn story. But the powers to be, the bankers and everything else, went in and, with their black ops, confiscated those. This flow chart is it. When you see what's going on here. This is what everybody's been looking for. This is a gift. Use it as a gift. Of knowledge. It says everything that you need to know. I sent Tom the definitions for most of the words in there. Like contract of mateship. You'll have to look up title of office. 
You can look up Bailey Baylor. It's not the living person that was the apprentice. It was our corporate soul person, the name that's on the certificate of live birth. He was not numbered initially. They created a second person with that same name under a false pretense to have a seaman on board that vessel. Someone that could do all the dirty work for them. And he became the numbered person as a bastardly child created by you, your corporate soul person, and the state of corporate person. State of Iowa, state of New Hampshire, whatever. And it was a military wedding, a maritime wedding. We went over this last night about MAR. Everything that begins with MAR, look at it very closely. Maritime, marriage, merger. Just marry itself. Like in the Bible in Jesus' time. You had the initial marriage, marry, and then you had at the end, at the tomb, you had three Marys. The Mary of religion, the Mary of the state, and the Mary of the military. In the Bible, you have lost roughly 18 years of Jesus' life. That's missing. You go up to the age of 12, then all of a sudden you pick him up at the age of 30. Just like what I have done and quite a few, a few other people have done, we have gone to the temple numerous times to try and find out what's going on here. Jesus did the same thing. How many times did he go and sit in the temple? He wasn't an all-knowing person. He had to learn just like you and I do. Abraham, the same way. Moses, Daniel, all the prophets out there. They just didn't get this shit overnight. They had to basically study and put the pieces together. Then they tried to pass it out to other people, and basically a lot of people just sort of disregarded them as, I don't know, lunatics. You put this together, and I'll post, uh, I sent Tom a copy yesterday of basically the page two, but I went over that again, and see, we're going to be sending this page two in the document now to the U.S. Marshal Bailey's. We will CC it to the chief judge saying we have claimed the office. But the letter that we're really writing is over the, to the Baileys saying that we are now standing over them and they are to follow our orders. We're in charge. We're the master of these three vessels. Now, some people will only have two vessels, most women. They won't have the military one. But if you had a selective service, basically you set up a vessel there. Whether you added additional cargo to it, it's uh, 
may or may not have too much cargo on board, but there's still some cargo there. Because you had seven years of obligation on that vessel. So there's some wages that are due from that vessel. All of your state items are additional creation, creating additional semen for your master uh, vessel, your state vessel, under the certificate of live birth. So if you've got a driver's license, you created another semen for that vessel. You have a certificate of title to a vehicle. You've got another semen for that vessel. You have a voter registration card. You've got another semen for that vessel. Uh, vessel. You have a fishing license, a hunting license. Basically, they're all tied to that vessel. We have to first come in and claim the office, the Title II office, master of the vessels. The vessel bar masters have surrendered their member mastership over these foreign vessels or vacated the office. That would probably be a little better than surrendered. They just vacated that office. And see, we never came in and stepped in as the master. We've completed our apprenticeship. We've completed our journeymanship. What's the next step to become the master of the vessel? I now have full authority over the vessels, their cargo, and the false pretense seamen, merchantmen, crew. I have fulfilled my obligations per my initial maritime apprenticeship, my journeymanship, and my hiring at will contracts. I've completed my obligations. Now it is time that basically I take control of the ship and start bringing the cargo home. When they kill a whale, okay, they don't kill the whale. It doesn't die right away. They will harvest that whale. That whale is still alive while they're cutting the blubber and everything off of it. A shark's heart will beat for about 24 hours after it's cut out of the shark. They're not out there to totally kill us. They're just scraping off some of the blubber that we're carrying around. Our labor. That's what they're harvesting. They're not killing the whale right away. And see in the book Moby Dick, the white whale basically sank all three ships. Hmm. All the crew members except the one real person in the book. The others were all fictions. And that's what we're going to be doing with our three ships. 
We're going to be getting rid of all the crew and everything and offloading the cargo and the wages that are due and have them sent back to the lawful American Admiralty owner. That's about all I can really say on this, okay? This is the answer. The judges have tried to tell us this. We just didn't have the full understanding, and in a lot of cases, we tried to argue the point. We tried to make them the master, keep them in control of the ship. The other movie that comes into play is Mutiny on the Bounty about the creation of all the extra semen. The mutiny is the willful desertion of the mutinous whore, the state of. They're the ones that have been the major corp, uh entity that has caused the most harm to the people, the states. Fleecing because they wanted their extra tidbit. They didn't want to rely upon the, the owner of the vessel to make payment to them as the first mate. They wanted to go out and try and fleece all the seamen that they could from the lawful American admiralty of the land owner. You can turn around and Submit these th items in to the Baileys. Terminate and get all your accounts. Now, what type of card are you going to get? Well, if you became the master of the vessel, you need to get a master card. Hmm. Some people out here have that master card already that they're only getting a little Social Security deposited into it. It's called a Direct Express Green Debit Card. A Master Card. So now when you see that all we need to do is have the jurisdiction to go and put this into the U.S. Marshal Bailey's because we, our corporate person, sole person, was the bailor of our cargo to begin with. I tried to make the flow chart. I think on the flow chart you have. You, there should be two arrows <laughs> between the vessel bar master and the chief slash master's mate. One should have the title down to the very bottom of Bailey. That's under the master. Under the chief slash master's mate, 
You are the hiring and the bailor. Now, a chief master's mate can sue in court for his wages. But as the bailor, you can also put a direct command in against that vessel account, that numbered vessel, and see that vessel is under the certificate of live birth, and that certificate of live birth registration number is the registration number for that vessel. The Church of Rome vessel does not have a registration number. The military commercial whaling vessel does have a vessel number, and that's your selective service number. Now, in between those two blocks, the master and the master's mate block, the very top arrow, I think I had it on the one I sent to you, is a broken arrow. Because the vessel bar master is not over the chief master's mate after the age of 25 or 21. The master's mate can assume the command at that point in time to complete his journey ship after the age of 25 then basically he is in full command they did away with trade schools in this country for a reason utilizing apprenticeship and journeymanship out here. Because those are key items in this whole damn process. You can modify that uh, those uh, post obit uh, notes and the post obit uh, bonds, the post obit note is your certificate of live birth. You can put a claim in for so much asset and endorse it as the master of the vessel saying that you're going to offload this amount of cargo to whoever. The bond would be the certificate of uh, military discharge. Your selective service and military DD-214 certificate. And then you send those up to the uh, federal courthouse to the U.S. Marshal Bailey Department. And as a master, they should turn around those things in 24 hours. It's not like the three-day waiting period that you have to have. For closing out the account, yes, it might take a total of three days when you take all three ships down. Jonah and the whale. It gives you a completely different outlook on that whole damn story. A 
all the stuff that these guys have been using out here. The hats, like that uh, Pope of Rome wears. The fish head hat. Now you can start seeing some of the stuff that's gone on. But that's it. It's that simple. Now, you turn around and you spend all your time working on something else, and you're never going to get out of the system. You spend maybe a week or two weeks to get this fully understood. You come out of the system, you will have your full assets at your disposal. Then you can do whatever you want to. You have to put your bowling leagues and your all your family, and everything else aside. Say, what do I really want? Do I want my gifts and my entitlements that I was entitled to my whole lifetime? Or are you going to worry about some stinking family member that doesn't give you a time of day 90% of the time anyway? Okay, Tom wanted me to bring this, go over this. Uh, I talked to him early this morning and laid a bunch of this stuff out to him, and uh, he didn't get the recording done, so basically that's why we're having this recording now to go over these additional changes, and uh, it's all right here. The judges have been telling us this. Mm -hmm. We just didn't see it. And not enough people had enough guts or balls to go out and put this stuff into the court system to try and learn something. They wanted everybody else to do their learning for them, and then they come along as cheaters. Hell, 90% of you won't even listen or read the damn word definitions that I have post up there for you. That's how damn lazy you are. We'll go someplace they've already been. Where's the fun in that? It's time to find someplace new. Book the hotel you want with the flight you want, and we'll find something else to get you there. Okay, are there any questions? Can you mute them out, Tom? Is that ever playing around with the fucking computer? Knock it off. No, uh, it doesn't show up on my panel here. Usually when there's noise, it shows up on what number it is, but it's not showing up. Okay, on, on the, when we use the post open bonds, we, we'll need to do a little bit of revising of them. To, uh, post open notes, uh, probably not using the estate number, but using the Social Security number. No. You just put that shit aside and get this shit done. Okay, okay. You brought it up. Uh, okay, that's fine. Yeah. I'll get this I done. I want you uh, guys out of the system, okay? Sure. That's my whole goal is to get out of the system. Okay. Take the money away from these damn shitheads that are destroying this country. Shut down all the damn insurance policies. Get rid of all these fictitious, uh, bastardly, uh, false pretense numbered seamen and merchantmen. 
This damn country is getting overpopulated with bullshit. Hmm. Or whale shit, whatever you want to call it. It ain't that hard when you read the definitions, when you read the flow chart, it's all right here. All the you can call up the US Marshal's office at the courthouse and get a fax number from them. You can turn around and fax these items into them. The chief judge, you can get his fax number. Or process it through the clerk of the court at the federal courthouse. The maritime commissioners, uh, chief commissioners, has a fax number on the website. We basically address the the Baileys, and we're telling them that we want to shut this down. Then they will come and see you and have your do- copies of your documents ready to endorse over to them. So that they can properly close out, liquidate, and close out the accounts. <clears throat> But you better have a somewhat of an understanding about real money and not fraudulent money and get out of all insurance contracts. You don't put your money into a damn insurance company to be passed on after you die to some other damn nitwit that you don't even know. They've got their own damn account. Let them go after their shit. Questions? Okay. Call tonight, Tom. Okay. Thank you very much, okay. Patrick. Okay. Later. Uh, Bye. Are we still meeting tomorrow here. night? Too late. Too late. Bye. Okay. Thank you.